Let's take a closer look at the Realty Juggler Prospects database. I'll sign into Realty Juggler and click on the Prospects icon. This takes me to my Prospects list. The Prospects database is for unqualified leads and farm lists. I don't know yet if they will become clients, so they belong in the Prospects database. I'll click on an individual row for more detailed information. Here, I can enter contact information for my prospect. Notice when I enter a phone number. A new blank phone number field appears below the last one. I can enter as many as nine different email addresses and phone numbers for each prospect record. I can change the phone label by clicking on this drop-down on the left. I can also add a note to the end of my email address or phone number. For example, this is Jennifer's mobile number, so I'll add a note, Jennifer, at the end of the phone number like this. I can keep track of when I last contacted my prospect and also schedule a follow-up. This is called the touch cycle. Video Tutorial 44 has additional explanation on how the touch cycle works. These tabs on the left have additional information. The Calculators tab includes several calculators that will be helpful when working with my new prospects. The Rent versus Own Calculator allows me to do a Rent versus Own calculation. This is a great way of laying out the benefits of home ownership, particularly to new home buyers. The Max Loan Calculator allows me to compute the maximum loan amount my prospect can qualify for. The Payments Calculator allows me to calculate mortgage payments based upon a specific loan amount and interest rate. The Service Report tab allows me to view a summary of all of my prospect's information, including emails, tasks, notes, as well as contact and referral information. The Mail tab is used to send drip emails and printed letters to my prospect. The Mailing Label tab allows me to print mailing labels or envelopes. The Notes and Files tab allows me to upload files and attach them to this prospect or add additional notes. I'll add in a photo of my client and upload and name it. The Task tab allows me to attach tasks or even task plans to this prospect. The Appointments tab allows me to schedule items in your calendar to meet my prospect. I just got off the phone with my prospect and he has agreed to allow me to list his home. So I'm gonna create a listing record from this prospect record. I'll click on the Transfer tab and then click on the Listing icon. That creates my listing. Additional information is available by going to the main screen of Realty Juggler and then clicking on the Tutorials icon. There you will find a series of video tutorials and written user's manuals covering many topics. A good video to watch would be Video Tutorial 24, the Seller's Listings Database, which shows how to work with listings in Realty Juggler.